Hi, this is Chad with Tadpole Trucking. So, I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. Just, uh, you know, be honest about how the training is going. Uh, it's tough, man. Uh, backing up these trucks, it's hard. We're doing these 28-foot uh, trailers. You know, I would think, you know, starting off, I'm thinking, well, they're only 28 foot. They're smaller trailers, so it's going to be easier, right? Oh, no, man. They're a lot harder to back up than a full-size long trailer because they react very fast. And you, would th and that kind of sounds backwards, I guess, because I would think that something that reacts fast would give you more control that you know that it does what you want it to do quickly um but in reality um it reacts so fast uh that you make a little adjustments to the steering wheel and all of a sudden the trailer is way off to the side um, um you know over reacting so it's it's really difficult um but that would be good. You know, it's good practice. They say that once we get out of the school and if we had to drive full-size trailers, that it would be very easy for us uh, since we're used to driving, you know, the 28-foot trailers. Um, another thing, this school allows for, uh, they teach automatic transmission and manual transmission. And I signed up for a manual transmission. Well, I ended up having a lot of problems shifting uh, into the gears with these trucks. I thought, you know, it wouldn't be that bad because I've driven stick before. Uh, you know, one of my first vehicles was uh, a pickup truck that uh, was an old Ford pickup truck. Uh, F100 Ranger. And uh, had the, you know the three on the tree, which was the shifter was on the column. Uh, it was a reverse, first, second, and third. And and I've also had uh, you know different motorcycles through the years shifting. Um, but these have a double clutch. So what that means is whenever you are shifting gears. It's not like a, a regular car or a motorcycle where you just uh, put in the clutch and then shift into the gear and then release the clutch. It's uh, you use the clutch two times. So if you're in gear and you want to shift to another gear, um, at least if you get into a higher gear, um, you put on the clutch. I mean, you push in the clutch halfway and then you shift into neutral and then you let go of the clutch and then you push the clutch again to shift into gear um, and then release the clutch. And it sounds like, you know, four moves. They, that's what they taught us was, uh, let's see, their little mantra that they kept saying was, um, clutch neutral clutch gear clutch neutral clutch gear so um i was really struggling trying to shift and it actually got to the point that i was called in um, by the manager of the school here and he suggested that i um do manual i mean do automatic instead to take the test and then he was going to give me a really good deal later to come back to the school. Um, he was only going to charge me $500 if, to come back later. If I just, if I ended up going to work for a company that wanted me to do manual transmission, then I could come back to the school and keep practicing manual and then retake the test for the manual. But I told him, no, I don't want to do that because... I came here to the school to learn manual transmission. And if it's going to cost me $500, you know, 
plus another 250 to retake the test. If it, I don't mind paying the extra money, but I want to just do this all at once. So I would prefer actually just paying the extra money now and just uh, taking a test on a later date. Well, it turns out that uh, yesterday, as you're driving in the city, uh, the instru uh, instructor said, no, I'm ready to actually to take the test now because um, I actually worked through the problems that I was have, uh, having shifting. Um, so I'll share with you the problems that I was having shifting. Maybe it, it'll help you. So when I was hearing uh, clutch neutral, clutch gear, I was doing that. I was doing clutch neutral clutch gear like four distinct moves but i was watching uh, youtube videos and realized that it's actually two moves it's the clutch neutral is one move you push the clutch and then with the right hand at the same time you shift into neutral so it's clutch neutral one move not two moves and then to get into gear, it's, I so you release the clutch. And then to get into gear, it's clutch gear. It's one move, not two moves. So that was a problem that I was having shifting in the higher gears. And I finally realized the problem that I was having shifting into lower gears was I was trying to shift into lower gears while traveling at a higher speed than uh, I needed to be for the gear that I was trying to get into. So as an example, we were driving a, a 10 speed transmission and I was in eighth gear and the instructor said, go down into seventh gear. So I was traveling um, like 40 miles an hour and I was trying to shift from 8th to 7th. And it was grinding the gears and it refused to go into gear. And he was saying, no, you got to slow down. Slow down a lot to like 30 miles an hour. And I'm, I'm asking like, 30? And he's like, yeah, 30 miles an hour. You need to be, you know, like 30, maybe 25 or 30 miles an hour. And so that was really confusing to me because, so here, here's why it was confusing to me. I told the instructor, I says, there's 10 gears. And I know these trucks, I see them all the time, semi trucks going down the freeway, 65, 70 miles an hour. So in my mind, I was thinking, well, 10th gear, 70 miles an hour ninth gear you know so you like kind of break it down so if they're like 70 miles an hour in 10th I'm, I'm imagining that they were probably in 10th gear just because that's the highest gear and so anyways I, I can imagine 70 miles an hour 10th gear so ninth gear maybe 65 60 65 miles an hour eighth gear maybe 55 or 50 miles an hour so seventh gear 40 miles an hour and that's what i was trying to do it's trying to shift from eight to seven at you know at 40 miles an hour no it doesn't work like that it's uh you gotta be much lower speed for example to go from uh sixth gear into fifth gear you're gonna be only doing like maybe like 20 miles an hour or even maybe 15 miles an hour um, which I still don't quite understand why it needs to be so slow it just doesn't my, my brain has a problem kind of wrapping it out because I want to like yeah I just want to I would just want to say 70 miles an hour 10th gear and so that's you know for each seven miles per hour is a gear difference so 70 10th gear 
ninth gear, you know, uh, 63, like that, just take off seven. But no, it doesn't work that way. So I started going a lot slower when I tried to downshift, and it's working. It is working. Um, so that's, I mean, that's the way that they're designed. Um, I just, uh, yeah, took me a while to figure it out. But now I can shift, um, and I'm pretty close, to, ready to take the test. I'm still working on a, a 90 degree backing. Uh, it's very difficult to get the timing just right for a lot of us because you're trying to do you're trying to turn a 90 degrees while you're trying to back into a spot, and you with these trailers, um, these 28 foot trailers, um, reacting or overreacting. It's like they're either overreacting or underreacting. Just depends on exactly how you have the wheel turn. So you're either, you know, it seems like a lot of times we're turning the wheels too, too tight or not enough. And so when the trailer gets to where we're trying to back it in, we're either um, not lined up right or too far past the spot or we didn't make it to the spot yet and we're at the wrong angle man it's just it's tough um, and I I already have a CDL uh, class B for driving a uh, school bus I've driven school bus for like three and a half years that has helped a lot I think with the city driving because I'm already comfortable uh, driving a large vehicle down narrow streets. I'm okay with that because you know, they do that a lot with the school bus. So that doesn't bother me. So I'm allowed, uh, that allows me to focus on mainly the shifting. Uh, but this backing stuff is off. Is, it's a whole lot different than the school bus because the school bus doesn't pivot in the middle. You know, there's no kingpin. It's all one long straight vehicle. So it's just like back in your car or your truck, but it's just longer, you know, a school bus is. But these tractor trailers, you know, they, they pivot around that kingpin on the trailer and it seems like it would give you much better control. Um, I guess in a way, I mean, yeah, it does give you much better control. It, it, it does. It does give you much better control. Uh, but the in order to control it, it, it takes a lot of experience, a lot of practice, practice, practice. Uh, because, yeah, you can control it, but... It's not easy. Um, I've been watching YouTube videos over and over and over, and I, and I noticed that the drivers that have experience and can control the vehicles, they can do pretty interesting stuff with the control that they have. Um, but yeah, it's tough. I'm just gonna keep practicing. It's, it's Saturday. They let us come in today on a Saturday and practice. So I was here. I was doing my backups. And I was hoping to do another uh, city drive, practice my shifting more. But it doesn't look like they're doing any city drives today. It's mainly just backing up. Um, man, this video is kind of getting kind of long. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. All right. Uh, good luck to all of you out there. Uh, if you're trying to get your CDL tests, done uh, get your cdl license um i recommend watching a lot of youtube videos and asking questions in class and it is frustrating um uh, yeah and it's long i mean it's a month long which doesn't really seem like a lot for a class but when you're out here in the heat and the dust and you're just trying to back up these vehicles and you're getting just beat up 
you know, mentally because these trucks just aren't that easy to work with. Um, it's <laughs> a month is a long time. Um, stick with it. I'm sticking with it. Let's see what happens when it comes to the test. All right. I'm going to end this video now. All right. Bye.